Hello everyone, I have a must-see recommendation for everybody. There'll be a link down below. Brian Stavely did a debate today and literally it was like Tyson in his prime versus a uh, mediocre featherweight. I mean, it was, it was an incredible debate. Well, incredible, I guess, if you're experiencing the Medell effect and you know what we've gone through and you like to see someone whip somebody up who backpedals and they're a denier and a skeptic and they really were not prepared. This was just an incredible thing that this guy thought he could even go against Brian. You have to see it. It starts around the five minute mark. So Jim says he's been studying the Mandela effect for a couple years, but he knew almost nothing that Brian was throwing at him. So I like to say thank you, Brian. I'm honored to have you represent the community versus the skeptic. I mean, this was great. There's nothing I love more than to have someone who thinks that the, the, the Mandela effect is just absurd because things can't supernaturally change. And then to catch him on numerous Mandela effects, this guy's Mandela affected, but he hasn't even really looked into it enough to know that. So now he said, oh, here's the other thing. I've never known anyone during a debate to say they were taking notes and they're writing all this down. They're going to be checking it all. He, what? I mean, he wasn't even ready to debate, but I mean, he has his points. And the mediator, uh, you know, here I'll show you. The, I'm not going to play the video, but here's the mediator. No, that's Jim again. There's Brian. And then there's a mediator who was saying that he thought they both brought up good points, which I don't know. I mean, I heard uh, that the human brain's fallible, Occam's razor, you know, all the stuff that we've heard. Luckily, I didn't hear uh, cognitive illusions and confabulation coming out of this guy, but I don't doubt that he would uh, go along with those ideas. I mean, he just thinks that we're misremembering everything. It's just like the same old explanation that we get from people who aren't experiencing the Mandela effect. But it's, I honestly believe that everyone can experience the Mandela effect. They just, there's thousands of changes at this point. And everyone, we have to wake each other up because even as we were getting into this heavily in 2016, we were waking each other up. We've been waking each other up here on YouTube for th over three years, since 2015, before I even got involved. People, actually back to like 2012, they were talking about Bernstein, Bernstein. I mean, people have been waking each other up. There's a lot of people to wake up and it's gonna happen. So Jim here was saying that he thinks it's just a sideshow and that uh, it's being pushed to confuse people. So people like me are pushing the Mandela effect so that we can confuse people and muddy the waters. I'm not trying to muddy any waters, anybody. Come on. I mean, I, I don't know where he gets that line of thinking, but that's what he said. So our memories don't match reality. And that's just because we have bad memory. I mean, there's no other explanation. This guy doesn't seem to think that um, things can supernaturally change like most people, but he's going to learn that things are changing because he seems to know the Bible pretty well. He said planets, the word planets is not in the Bible, but it's in Kings, the book of Kings 23.5 says the word planets he used to say constellations. So that's in there. And he was saying, well, that's the creationists. They've changed the newer versions. Or whatever. Brian's like, no, go. If you got a 200-year-old Bible, go get it. It's in there. It's in the King James. I mean, that's what these people who, who deny the Mandela effect, they don't understand. The stuff is in the old stuff. The, you know, the, the people saying it's a PSYOP and, oh, the Internet can change things these days. If you have VHS tapes from Build It and They Will Come, you know, Field of Dreams or... Of the Star Wars movies, all the old movies from the 80s, if you have the VHS tape, it's changed. The stuff's different, and no one came in your house and changed the tapes. So I don't understand that argument from these people. They just don't know what they're talking about. You don't try and debate someone who has a plethora of facts that they can just, oh my gosh, Brian was just hurling stuff at this guy, left and right. And, and then in the end, right off the Jersey Shore, he gets his knockout. Oh, you got to see it. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end of the debate, but you got to see it. So this is just, this was great. I really enjoyed it. I, I, I listened. I didn't watch it. I just listened to it driving to work. 
I had it on in my car, just listened to it, and oh my gosh, I was almost late because I, I parked and I wanted to hear the end of it. So you got to check this out. Link's going to be down below. Great job, Brian. I can't wait for part two after this guy actually looks these things up and sees that they have changed because he admitted that he doesn't remember C-3PO with a silver leg. And so he has to go look. The, I mean, someone's been researching the Mandela effect for a couple of years as a denier and a skeptic. You don't even know about C-3PO. And there were other things he just didn't even know about. It was amazing. The Statue of Liberty, he didn't know you know, that it's on Liberty Island now? I, I don't There's just so much that this guy didn't know, so it's really crazy. Oh, before I go, I wanted to mention two synchronicities I had recently. This morning, I was taking my daughter to school, and I, and I look over, and the sun's just peeking over the house down the street, and so in my mind, I said, good morning, sun. Just said good morning to the sun in my mind, and... It wasn't like five seconds later on the radio, a station I usually don't have on, the song starts playing. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. I mean, I was got the chills. I was like, come on, are you kidding me? I just said, good morning, sun, and then here comes the sun. Comes on. I mean, it was within seconds. It was like three, four seconds after I had the thought. That was crazy. And then yesterday I was driving and I put on a show to listen to from Merkaba Carpet. I don't know if you're aware of that channel, but I listen to Merkaba Carpet. I really enjoy his perspective on the awakening and what's happening. So I'll go ahead and link his channel down below. You should definitely check it out if you're not aware of it. So he's up in Canada and his name's Tony. And so I put on Tony's show, and it wasn't 10 seconds later that a truck pulls right in front of me. And I've never seen this company before. I think it's an East Coast company. I don't know. It had, um, I can't remember, Rhode Island or Massachusetts plates or something on the trailer. But it said, Tony's Fine Foods. Just right when I put Tony on, Tony's Fine Foods pops in front of me. Now, I know there's people who think those are just simple little coincidences, whatever, but I don't see them that way. I see them as incredible connections of the fabric that ties everything and all of us together in this matrix or universe, whatever you want to call it. We're all connected through this invisible fabric, and that's just the universe talking to me. I don't know if it's telling me I'm on track or that, you know, you're, you're getting connected with everything. I don't know. It's just an awesome feeling. I love incredible synchronicities. I've been having a lot of them lately. Uh, let me know one down below if, if you had incredible synchronicity recently. You have to check out this debate. This was really, really good. I mean, did, he had him backpedaling after he said that planets wasn't in the Bible. And then there, there were a number of things that, that you just got to check it out. Just check it out. So go create the reality that you want as I'm working on creating the reality that I want. And I'll talk to everyone soon.